Hello friends, it's me Genuine Coder. This is the third chapter in the Java multi-threading video tutorial series. And in this chapter, we will see how to create a thread in your Java application. Yes guys, this is the chapter we will create a thread properly in our tutorial. So before doing so, let me show you what we are trying to do with those threads. Okay, so I'm going to create an example of single thread and here as you as you already know we have the main thread running here what i want to do is i want to print some text like this so for i equals zero i less than 10 which means this will execute for 10 times and i have to print like i love java so the first string is i love java then later i want to print i love java fx and then I have to print hello Android <clears throat> so I have three tags and if I run this program right now it will complete within a moment because the processor is too fast for us so we have to add some extra delay here so I will add 200 milliseconds of delay so uh, this whole thing will take around two seconds because uh, 10 into 200 is 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds and I will create this I will add the sleep for everyone every one of them so now we can see that in a uh, observable fashion first it will come I love Java then I love Java FX then I love Android so these things are happening so it will the totally it will take around six seconds to complete so what if I want to execute these three things parallel so in current thread this i love java fx will execute only after completing the first for loop because the program is sequential what we are going to do in this video is we will make this parallel and make this for three four loops run at a single time so that's what we are going to do with the thread so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another thread class so for that java java uh, what we what name will we give java thread test so here we have a java thread set, test so somehow we have to take this code this for loop and put it here so that it will run parallelly so in order to do that what you have to do is this is the first way we have two ways to implement threads in java and this is the first way okay so i'm going to implement it using implements runnable okay and if you make this implements runnable then it will say it has to you have to implement all the abstract method and when you click on that this method will come so what exactly happening here is when you start a thread this method will be called from the newly created thread so in more simple words whatever you put in this method will be ran using another thread okay so obviously i'm going to copy this code and paste it here and this saying there are some problems you know i want to throw it Oh, okay it, it can't throw so here since thread dot sleep is there and we can't throw it i'm going to take it as a block i have done nothing here i just added this in a try catch block let me put it in here okay so okay so nothing changed this is our for loop instead of throwing it because this is an interface implementation so we can't simply throw this exception from this run uh, which will violate it so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this for loop inside this run method okay so now we have got the java thread i love java command uh, or string within a runnable class now i have to do this for every other thing right for java fx and android 2 i need the I need another classes so that I can run all of them in separate threads. Okay, so Java FX thread test. And I'm going to simply copy the code from here, implements runnable to here. Okay. And here instead of Java, I'm going to name it as Java FX. 
if you guys are experienced to java developers you will be thinking what the hell am i doing because you can simply pass this as a uh parameter or simply a string but, but in order to keep things simple and uh, understandable i am duplicating this code just bear with me here and i have one more i need one more class that will be android thread test and here i love android so right now we have three classes that implements runnable one is for java one is for java fx one is for android okay now let me just remove this now somehow i need to attach this runnable to that thread okay so what uh, uh, observe this carefully because this is the point where we are creating a different thread so create java thread so this is for displaying i love java message so create java thread and i am going to create so i'm going to create one thread th equals new thread so we created one thread and here you can see that we have multiple constructors here i am going to use this runnable target one so it will take a runnable object in the constructor okay so for the java printing we need the java fx runnable so that the requirement or why we extended the class with the runnable is because this thread requires a runnable code so java thread test thread test equals new java thread test okay so we created one object of this class and we can pass this to this one so this thread is now accepting this thread test okay fair enough now let's say i want to name give a name to my thread in the chapter one we discussed how to give a name a name is very useful when you want to identify a thread so i'm going to name it as java thread okay now i want to start the thread so that this run method will be executed so when you call the start method it, it will go inside this java thread test runnable and will call this run so when i started learning java the thing that confused me is how the control will jump from this start to run so that is what i'm saying when you call a thread dot start it will check for its runnable object so what is the runnable object of this thread that is this java thread test and it will go to this java thread test and look for this run method and it will start the execution from this run method so when you start a program the starting point for the application is this public static void main when you start a thread the starting point for that specific thread is this run method okay so that's why we have and one more thing i have to do is i, I simply have to print the name of the thread so that we can see that uh, the name of the thread that we have given so for java thread test i'm going to add a message starting thread name and here i can get the thread using thread dot get current thread dot get name okay and so this message will be displayed before going to this uh, for loop and after completing everything i just want to know that it is completed so thread completed so this will be like header and footer in the header there will be starting thread name with this thread and then thread completed will be as the footer after completing the silo java message so again i have to repeat this for this java fx thread test and android thread test okay then i have to add the footer for those guys also so here java fx thread okay then android thread test okay so right now i have only created this java thread let us just run the program right now okay and if I run the program, you will see that starting thread name Java thread, which means the message I love Java is now printing from another thread. It is not the main thread, but it is printing from Java thread. So as, as I said in the previous chapter, since now we are 
using another thread for printing this message the main thread is now free the main thread is not displaying anything so here i can display something else it's out okay i'm free so if i add this message and thread dot sleep like this it is 200 so right now you will see both this hey i am free and this i love java message together because they are executing simultaneously at a time okay so let me run the program right now and you can see that they are kind of uh mixed together because uh for once this i love java is executed then at the, at the same time this one is also executed hey i am free so we can't predict which come a first or which come next for that we have thread synchronization which we will talk about later in this video to series so this is not our point i just wanted to prove that this main thread is free for its own task so that's why we got both these things because they are both working together so so far we have the create java thread we need create java fx thread to print the second i love java fx message and we need another one create android thread so we need a total three threads okay okay then let me just copy these things here so here we have to create java fx thread so java fx thread test java fx uh, equal so i'm sorry so this would be java fx thread test it is the runnable class java fx thread test then i am passing the thread test object to this new thread then here i am going to name it as java fx thread and i am going to create one more thread that is our android thread so android thread test thread test equals android thread test then here android thread test okay this is saying it means problem it is saying that it is does not exist but it exists let us run the program now let me show you what is going to let me first discuss what is going to happen so right now the java thread will be created and at the same time the java fx thread will also be created and similarly this thread android thread will also be created so what we are going to see is we are going to see these three threads working simultaneously in our program so let me just run this program and you can see that first it started java fx thread and before completing the i love java message the java fx thread also started and before completing that this android thread also started and you can see that those three started printing continuously and they completed like this java fx java thread completed java fx thread completed and android completed and th they completed together because they have around similar time like this is 10 uh, and this is 10 so they will all take around two seconds to complete so that's it guys i think this has been a very long video in this chapter we saw how to create thread and in the next chapter we will see more about it so as always thank you for watching